Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and another member brought me this pick. RDGL. It's pretty wild because I did my analysis on it yesterday and told our community that it was going to explode, and it did. It went from two cents to twenty four cents over the last just what couple weeks. So, and today specifically, this big green candle here. This big, massive green buying candle. Yeah, that's today. Up 136%. Congratulations to all of our members on RDGL. And let's talk about why, okay? So right here, Vivos Inc. applies for breakthrough device designation for radio gel trademark. Vivos Inc. RDGL on the OTCQB. Now, this is OTCQB stock, which for a penny stock, I like. This was only a two cent stock. Now it's at 20 cents. It's an OTC QB issuer, which means it's fully reporting, fully reporting issuer, as opposed to a non-reporting issuer. This is a much higher tier company. Vivos Inc. announced it has completed its submission to the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, seeking breakthrough device designation for radio gel. Big news, breaking news. And the reason why I believe this penny stock needs to be on everyone's radar Despite the fact it's already exploded, I think it could go higher. This is a voluntary program for certain medical devices that provide for more effective treatment of diagnosis of life-threatening or irreversibly debilitating diseases or conditions. It is intended to help patients have more timely access to these medical devices by expediting their development, assessment, and review while preserving the statutory standards for pre-market approval or de novo marketing authorization. The breakthrough designation process takes priority over other FDA meetings. So we elected to submit this application prior to our planned, our FDA pre-submission meeting. We intend to schedule the pre-submission meeting in the near future with no impact to our overall IDE submission effort. It gives us time to gather more data to share with FDA. Dr. Mike Korenko stated, in our opinion, radio gel trademark meets the criteria for breakthrough device designation, but we cannot be presumptive about the FDA determination. If granted, this, de this designation would give radio gel trademark priority review, opening up enhanced FDA communication channels and potentially saving months in the IDE approval process. Now, let's just look at their share structure because that's vital you know that I like tight float stocks. I do not like diluted pigs. Look at the market cap. Only a 20 million market cap, a baby market cap. 143 million shares in the float. This is relatively tight for a penny stock. QB company, I think the upside is tremendous. We told our entire community at two cents and we started to really talk about it at eight cents. And now here it is today, our members getting in early and today it explodes up 135%. Congratulations to members and winners on Vivos Inc. RDGL, a screamer. I think we could see this at a dollar in 2021. I'll come back in 2021 to celebrate. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. RDGL, a screamer, a penny stock up 135%. Get your popcorn ready. I'm out. Peace. Another big winner. It's true.